done it all, literally. She sings, she dances, she's an actress, she's a choreographer, and she's a cook, too. Today, she is in our kitchen making us one of her very favorite dishes, grilled mahi-mahi with coconut cauliflower rice. Please welcome, for the first time to our home, Sabrina Bryan. Welcome, Thank Sabrina. Here. We're so happy to have you. Now, I don't want to intimidate you, but you have some cowboys at the counter today that have come from a very far place to have your delicious mahi-mahi ah, and yes, salsa. Nice. Please welcome, joining us at the counter, Cowboys Bubba, Booger, and Cody. Yeah, there. Thank you, fellas. Yeah, thank you. From the Cowboy Way, you're going to teach us. You taught us how to rope last time you were here, and today you're going to crack the whip. Well, wait, they didn't teach me anything last time. Oh, I forgot, Because, Mark. I know, I you missed here. The, meeting the gentlemen shaking their hands, because we were having a baby. You bet. Oh, right. Congratulations. So, yeah, thank yep. you so much. Well, thank they're going to teach you how to work your way around well, the road. something, yeah. You'll see, it's pretty <laughs> impressive. We're eat first. It is okay. pretty, okay. At first, we're going to eat. So you guys dig in. So I understand this is one of your go-to dishes. It is. While you're preparing for your upcoming nuptials. It's a paleo-friendly dish, which I love. You know, um, Jordan and I, my fiancé, and I love to get some new flavors. This has got so many flavors. We've got the hotness of a jalapeno. And the hotness of you in that dress. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Well, Beautiful. you know, you got to get some good eating and also good working out. But this this helps me stay on my diet plan, and it is such a fun, easy meal. And I actually like to make extra salsa on the side and have it later on in the week, maybe with some shrimp tacos, things Ooh, like that. Or just the salsa on a piece of toast is delicious. Right. It yeah. really is. All right, let's get started with your mango salsa. So what do we do? All right, so here we have our pineapple, okay. big part of the dish, nice and citrusy. We also have our mango, some red bell pepper, a red onion, jalapenos again. We make jalapenos in almost all of our dishes. I Written love it. Like <laughs> spicy. Love it. But look at this beautiful coloring. I just love the way the salsa is gorgeous. We've got salt. It's got some lime juice because, of course, you know, it's a salsa. And then avocado. So lucky to be in California and have the best avocados year in round. the world They're all so year. So I love to make avocado dish of anything. And then coconut. And then we've got the sweetness of coconut, which will go into our cauliflower rice. Okay. Um, to ha add that, like, nice sweet texture. Ooh. I've got such a sweet tooth as well. This hits all my taste buds in the exact yeah. same spot. Well, let's get going. Yeah. I love, by the way, just you just dump? It's just a dump? This is just a dump. This is easier mm. than normal at Here home you when you've got to have to dice your own stuff, right? right? Well, yeah, we have a pretty great kitchen here. Yes. Kitchen staff. <laughs> this have is a, amazing. I can send them home with you if you'd like. <laughs> I love that your fiancé is just a nice, normal guy. He's not in the business. He's just a good, solid man. Yes, he's incredibly smart and um, business guy himself. But it's fun for us to be able to just be at home and enjoying each other. And, you know, work isn't something we bring home all the time. But at the same time, he supports. He was at, you know, all the stuff for Dancing with the Stars for me the last season I was on. He comes and supports everything I do. And he's just an amazing guy. I'm really lucky. And the way he proposed to you was pretty epic. I mean, yeah. not every day a girl's proposed to at a castle. A castle. <laughs> Oh and my gosh. The castle beforehand, he did. which I thought was interesting. <laughs> He's really, yeah. Right? Yeah, we were actually there for his sister's wedding, and he literally asked his sister, Do you mind if I borrow your castle for a day to pro propose to <laughs> Sabrina? And that was the most amazing thing. I'm such a Disney girl, like through and through, getting proposed at a castle. I'll take it. It's like Cinderella. <laughs> it is like Cinderella. How is my the, favorite. How's the wedding process or the planning process coming? It's good. You know, of course, everything always feels overwhelming when you're doing it, but it has been so fun. Jordan has really jumped in. He didn't think he was going to. He was like, that's your thing, babe. You've thought about it for so long. And then now the details are getting set. Men have a lot more of a Say, opinion yes. than Isn't you would that think. True? Yeah. That's yes. so true. But you know what? It's great. I think it's been so much fun because we're doing everything together. So it's been really nice. Well, I know you have your venue set. Yes. This is you were on Dancing with the Stars in season five. Uh huh. Then you got invited back for the All Stars in yes. season fifteen, and you became very good friends with, uh, like, <laughs> the president of Vegas. Right. Yeah. Yes. He basically <coughs> owns Vegas. Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton Love became Wayne. like her like the second dad. Yeah, yeah. He's amazing. He's incredible, isn't he? He is such a oh, sweet oh, guy, yeah. and you know, honestly, I'm lucky. He invited us to the opening. His house that he lived in is now called Casa de Shenandoah. It's a tourist attraction. You can go look at all of his incredible memorabilia. And we're going to be one of the first couples to get married on his location. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like, thank you. Yeah. Now you've got really another is. thing to do in, in Vegas. Go check it out because it's sure. unbelievable. It really is yeah. beautiful. It's like a Graceland. Yes. So, okay, good. Thank you for adding um, this salt. And then this is the... 
Yep. Lime juice. And I just made a mess. That's okay. This is really what it's like in my kitchen, by the way. I make messes all the time. It's I say crazy. it's not as good unless it's messy. Right. Yeah. So over here we have the cauliflower rice. So you would take a food processor, it's a whole head of ca um, cauliflower, add some coconut milk into it. Ooh, nice. Let it steam for a while and it's good to go. Just, yeah. I discovered it in the yeah. freezer section. All they have it. I didn't what? Realize. Yeah, they yeah. have rice cauliflower. It's this rice entire cauliflower. time I've been <laughs> chopping and chopping. Oh. And no chopping necessary, girl. No, it's I in a bag. Now, you got a wedding to plan. You're so too then, busy to chop. Yes. So the best, the best thing right now is what you would do is you just add your coconut. Oh. You can just add all of that in. Okay. Right away. Oh my gosh. You really? Want to do all of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. All right. You may give it a nice mix, and then you serve the mahi mahi either over, right next to it. And it's, again, that's a okay. mess. And it's so delicious. And it's you can nice. serve this with really any protein. Absolutely. It's got a really good uh, sweet texture, and um, it's great. And then this with this salsa, it's going to oh knock, are you ready to have It's going to knock my socks it's off. It's going to knock it's your really socks off. You better off. hold on to your hats, fellas. <laughs> yeah. Hold on to those hats. They're so oh good. Yeah. Let's so go. good. Come These on. guys actually yeah. rope mahi-mahi, just to show you how good they are with yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm the best thing just is one. The, just, just one time, but you did. I just want to point that out. <laughs> there you go. And the best thing is this grilled mahi mahi doesn't take a lot. Just either a little bit of coconut oil or some butter. Grill it both sides, and it's just for a few minutes. The rest of it has so much flavor. You don't need to add a ton of seasoning. It's so good for it's you. Delicious. Yeah, so good.